Hey everyone, welcome back to Twinkle Tunes and Lighting. Today we're going to be making a few upgrades and modifications to our current controllers. With this new season coming out and new products coming out, I like to stay on the cutting edge of things. So that's what we're going to do in this video. The first thing we do is I'm going to go ahead and draw out what I'm going to do and make sure it all fits inside the box in the case that we're going to do. So I use CAD, I draw it all out, I print it one to one scale, therefore I know if it's going to fit or not. I wanted to make everything on plexiglass this time because I think it looks cool um, and that's literally the only reason why. So when I went and priced out plexiglass at the big box stores it was just too expensive so I found these clipboards on Amazon and they were super cheap for about a buck a piece. I can uh, make whatever I want to so I chopped them down to size and I'm going to use those. First we need to carefully disconnect and remove the old controller. Make sure to label your wires if you're doing a swap like this. Now, let's get the new components in place. I've mounted the Bong 69 controller and the power distribution board onto the clear plexiglass plate. Now let's wire everything up. Now I found this chart uh, for a wire gauge and for the lengths. I'm only going about six inches here with my wires. So I kind of went down to the DC voltage and I'm going to be pulling uh, at max, I'll be pulling uh, 50 amps. found that over time the best way to do this instead of soldering um, there's times when you can solder there's times when you can crimp um, I'm gonna use all ferrule crimpers all ferrule crimps this time for my project I'm gonna go ahead and wire my 50 amp um, ammeter it's easier to wire now than trying to wire when it's already installed here's some sort of the schematics on the back of it so you know how to hook it up So I've got the power coming in um, that's going to be coming off the left side there. I've also got the load uh, negative that's going to be coming on the right side and then the output to the ground. So what exactly is an ammeter? So in simple terms, it's a device that measures the current flowing through your circuit and it's measured in amps. So when it comes to LED displays, keeping an eye on your current on your current draw, um, that's critical. Um, if you ask why, because exceeding your controller's power or power supply's capacity can lead to overheating, damage, or even failure. So we're going to try to avoid that uh, by having this ammeter in place.
The power board is fantastic because it distributes both power and data, making the installation much cleaner. So let's check out some of its key features. It has eight removable Phoenix connectors for easy wiring, eight resettable fuses so they never need to be replaced, has LED indicators for fuse status, so if the LED is off, the fuse is tripped. It supports 5 volt to 24 volt LED pixels. It's got a 35 amp input capacity. It has a 5 amp output per port, which supports 16 to 28 gauge wiring. Ethernet and Wi-Fi support for reliable E131 data transfer. And it has USB-C for easy programming. Thanks to the pluggable Phoenix connectors, wiring is super easy. I've also installed a waterproof voltmeter on the outside of the case. So when my case is hanging and mounted, I'm able to make a quick reference A to see if it has power and B to make sure it has the correct power. All right, the moment of truth, let's power it on. If all fuses are good, the LEDs on the power board should be lit. If the fuse is tripped, the corresponding LED will be off. And remember, you can reset a tripped fuse by simply powering off the board. Now that we've powered the controller up, we're going to go ahead and log into its access point. It broadcasts its own access point with WLED already pre-installed into it. So we just have to log into it. And once we log into it, it should populate the screen like you see here. We're going to go to the controls. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the LED preferences and I'm going to turn off the uh, limiter the power limiter and so we can turn our lights to 100% to make sure we're good. Go to the controls and let's go through a few of these colors. They're going to be backwards because I haven't set up the actual LED, but we can see that it is talking. It's uh, wireless talking to the controller. I can control it with the WLED app and so we are way far ahead and ready to uh, drop it into X lights or just use it as a standalone controller as well. So if you like this video, please like and please subscribe. Also, down in the comments, let me know what upgrades you're doing to your controllers or what upgrades you liked about this controller. If you have any suggestions for videos or suggestions for upgrades, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for visiting Twinkle Tunes and Lighting.